It's been a minute. I miss you guys. I wanted to just sit down and do a full makeup look because I haven't done one yet and it is officially fall here in New Jersey. The weather is getting so cold. The leaves are changing and it's just my favorite time of year. So what I've been doing the past, I haven't really done my makeup, let's be real. I have only done my makeup a couple times. I've been pretty much makeup free for, I don't even know how long, but um, the past couple times I was doing like a cream contour concealer and then a foundation over it just because I felt that this new cream contour product that I was using, it just kind of like was too harsh and I was putting foundation over it. So I tried doing it like reverse and it comes out a lot better and more like smooth looking in my opinion. So I'm gonna use this CoverGirl primer. So for cream contour, I'm using the Hourglass Golden Almond Stick. And so I did a spray tan over the weekend, um, so my face is obviously a lot lighter than my body. So you'll see, it'll all come together, believe it or not. And just use this with a very light hand. With the Morphe M436, I'm gonna start pushing that back into my hairline. And I'm gonna look like a pumpkin before it starts looking good, but just trust the process. I've done like zero fall activities so far this year, um, besides riding my bike, but it's not really a fall activity. I really wanna get some mums for my front porch. Um, I usually do every year, I just have not. It's been, there's a lot going on right now. It's a little late on everything. I haven't even decorated my house. Usually I'll like pull out, I have like a lot of glass pumpkins and all of that, and I really have not done anything. My birthday is this Saturday. I am gonna be 30 effing years old i cannot believe it and believe it or not like you guys know every year because i vlog it usually like i go nuts for my birthday and i had big plans you know months ago um for what i wanted to do and it's just not the right time to be like traveling and all that so i am gonna probably do my 30th birthday celebration for next year you guys imagine I left it like this. So I originally wanted to get like a really nice house in Miami or like Fort Lauderdale or just somewhere in Florida with all my friends, but you know, I'd rather everyone be safe. So I don't even know what I'm doing. I have not even made dinner plans. This is very unlike me, but like I said, there's been a lot going on. I'll fill you guys in soon. So what should I do? What should I do for my birthday? Oh, I don't know. I don't Maybe Anthony's sister was like, why don't you do like a Halloween party slash birthday party? And I was like, that's actually a cute idea. I don't think, I did all my Halloween videos last year and I don't think I even dressed up for Halloween. So I have to think of some last minute costume ideas for me and Anthony because obviously we have to do a couple's costume. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. This is medium tan sand. I might, yeah, I'm gonna mix with light medium. And I'm gonna blend, bring it out first. I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. So the last video I filmed was the Bandicoot video, which was so fun to film. I have at least two more Halloween videos, maybe three, probably three actually, coming your way. Um, I just was like, how did I not do a fall video yet? Like a fall makeup video yet? So I figured, let's see this first. Let's get this one up and then I will get into the Halloween videos. Because before we know it, it's gonna be winter and I'm gonna be pissed that I didn't get at least one fall video up. Hi, mommy. You gonna walk right across my stuff? It's okay if it looks a little harsh because the foundation is gonna fix it. For foundation, I'm using the Huda Beauty 320G Faux Filter Foundation. So you can see with just a little foundation how nice it all blends. Before, after. And you get to use way less foundation. So it's just a little trick. I've done this before, but it's just I haven't talked about it a lot on my channel. So for anyone who wants to try, I love trying new face routines. Like my favorite part of my makeup routine is the face. So it's always fun to learn or try new things, I should say. So 
So now the nose. I'm just gonna blend it out very lightly. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the light medium, just right here. And I'm gonna blend that in just for a little bit more of like a highlight. So although it may not look like it, I feel like when I do the foundation routine like a little bit backwards, so to say, I end up using less product on my face. Um, so it's still a lot. I'm not saying I'm not using a lot, but way less foundation and definitely less of everything. And it's, it's quicker because you don't really have to blend as much where if you're doing the cream contour over the foundation, you know, you really, really got to blend and make sure it looks nice. So try it out guys, let me know how you like it. I'm using the Tarte, Tarte <laughs> setting powder To set my nose, I'm gonna use the gray shade from the Shade and Light palette, just a little bit. And the middle shade, the very light hand for my contoured areas. For brows, I'm using the Anastasia Granite Brow Wiz. You guys have seen me do this a million times, so. I had to do a lunch break. Peanut butter and jelly, and salt and vinegar chips. I haven't done a mukbang in a while. Let me know if you guys wanna see one. Normally I'll have, um, why am I out of breath? <laughs> salt and vinegar chips or pretzels. With my peanut butter and jelly. So I think this year, for my birthday, I'm gonna treat myself to a Peloton. Have any of you guys tried it yet? Definitely let me know um, your suggestions. I think I wanna do the bike over the treadmill, just because I've been riding my bike like all, all spring and summer long, and the thought of it getting too cold to ride my bike makes me sad. So I just got the new Khaki Haze um, by Huda Beauty palettes, and I feel like this one just screamed fall. I, I don't know, these like matte shades are like really like screaming my name. Plus, I just got the new Natasha Denona Duo Chromes. This one's Dog Bane, and it's like this beautiful Duo Chrome. It's like a cream shadow, obviously, right? Cream shadow, liquid eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna do like all mattes with like a chrome lid. This is what I'm thinking right now. So I'm gonna do one eye off camera, make sure I can get something that I love, and then I'll be back to do the other eye. So hold, please. Guys, right, look at this. You like the salt, <laughs> Salt and vinegar like mommy? Oh, his breath is so nasty. So, for some reason, the beginning part of this eye tutorial was nowhere to be seen. So, it's the next day, and I'm gonna redo it for you guys. I'm putting a little bit of the concealer on my eyelid because at this point I would have had my foundation on. First I'm grabbing this matte orangey brown and I'm going to blend that right into the crease. Grabbing this darker burnt orange. This is going to go all over the outer half of my lid and into the crease. First shade I used, this is going right on the inner half of my lid. Blending that in. I'm then grabbing this dark plum brown color. So I like to, when I look up, I like a nice amount of space that I will use for my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna take that and just start dragging so that way it's 
fans out a little bit. And then I'm going back in with whatever is kind of left on that other brush with the light brown, like the light orange brown, I mean. And we're just gonna blend and a little more of the orange. Next comes the fun part. I'm gonna use this duochrome liquid shadow. To about halfway. Like that. And with this little brush, I'm just gonna tap it. I'm just gonna like very lightly blend. So I went to Sally Beauty the other day and they had these new Ardells that I've never heard of. They're the 259 Mega Volumes and they're like right up my alley. So I'm gonna try these guys out for the first time. Oh, they are new, because it says new right, right in the front. What else, what else has been going on? Um, my grandma's sister passed away last week. My great aunt, her name was Nina, she was the best. She lived in Florida, so we didn't see her as often as we would like to, but she did come up and visit a lot. Um, she was 96, so she lived a very beautiful, long life. So yeah, that was really sad. Um, we had a funeral for her, and she was in the military, so it was like a military funeral, which was really nice. I've never been to one, and it was, it was just really beautiful. So that was last Wednesday, actually. I've really been organizing like every inch of my house, the pantry, all the drawers in the kitchen. Um, my front room is now a room. It, it was like covered with all kinds of boxes and everything. So in my laundry room, I just kind of been like cleansing my entire house, cleansing my life basically. So it's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, you know, just trying to get back on track with things, trying to get back in a good mental state. A lot has happened the past, I don't know, month month and a half and um, just trying to get back in the swing of things guys, you understand. Um, we filmed a podcast interview that will go up. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is gonna get up Thursday, which means I have a new podcast interview. We did a interview with Maddie and Tay and it was so awesome. We had the best time. For the first time I met them at the CMAs, like, we're talking like six years ago, like a long time ago. They came running up to me that they watched my videos and I was literally so excited because I was like so nervous standing on the red carpet. I saw them again at the CMAs um, a few years later and then they had a album viewing, I guess, party. And I went and I saw them in New York City, which was awesome. I believe that was like two years ago. It was awesome to just sit down and chat with them. They're two best friends and they make the best music so you guys should definitely go check them out if you guys don't listen to country music i highly suggest it it's life-changing so that was really fun we also sat down last week with ashley i from the bachelor um there was a new season of the bachelorette that started last night i was like half watching it while i was eating dinner i have to like re go i have to go back and rewatch it um I heard Amy and my mom talking about it this morning and it got me interested. I don't watch every season, but it's definitely like a fun show to watch. I just read online that um, Colton put like a tracking device on Cassie's car, which is so crazy. Yeah, I watched that whole season and it was like cringeworthy to me. Um, such a shame. I could have called that though. Like you could tell she was not into him. I think she was just kind of doing it for the show. So I'm gonna try this khaki color. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna try it on my lower lash line. I wish it was a little more khaki. It's a little brown. It looks pretty much brown on my eyes, but I like it. And then I'm gonna take the darkest color and I'm gonna put it just on the outer and connect it with the top. Mascara, because I always do mascara. I'm gonna take a little bit of the orange and I'm just gonna like blend underneath. Like it's just missing a little bit of orange under the bottom. Yeah. There's like this pretty khaki shimmer. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna put it right on the inner. I think this was like the perfect palette to use today. And I'm obsessed. 
I kind of want to do like a khaki inner liner because we're going like real dark and all in. And I'm going to use this Urban Decay Stash Liner. I'm going to do it in my lower lash line. I feel like I haven't done a super dramatic look in a very long time. And I'm kind of obsessed. I kind of want to do like a dark lip even. I wish I can like, I wish this was like live so I can talk to you and ask you guys like, what should I do because I need your help. <sighs> in the meantime, I'm gonna take a little powder and put it under the eyes so I could do my bottom mascara. Literally one of the best beauty hacks I've ever figured out. I'm gonna line my lips before I finish the rest of my face because I feel like naked. This is KKW two and a half. And before I choose the lip color, because I have a couple, I'll finish the rest of my face. So, we're gonna wipe away the powder. I'm gonna grab my Carly Bible palette for highlighter. I'm gonna use the gold color. I mean, come on. I'm gonna get a little bit of that gold into the crease, actually. I'm into my tear duct. I'm gonna highlight under my eyes with the peach and the yellow from this palette. Just a highlight. We're gonna do, because I wear these the same blush every time, a flower blush. So first of all, I guess I'll try the dark. Mm. Let's try this one. This is this is Kat Von D Hawkwind. Hawkwind. I like it, but I don't. Truthfully, I liked how the lip liner looked on its own. I'm just gonna put a little bit of my Libra lipstick and then just kind of use the lip liner. I think it's just like the brown I want. Yeah, that's it. Working on getting Libra back for you guys, by the way. Because I'm, it, honestly, it's the only nude lipstick that I use. It's like iconic, in my opinion. All right, so for hair, um, mom, 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 mom. I think I might do half up, half down, because I haven't in a while. I just had to test if I like the half up, half down, which I do. So I'm gonna put all the rest of my hair in a ponytail back here to keep it separate and I like did it in the mirror and I was like why did I just do that not on camera that was silly of me but I didn't put any hairspray in because I wanted to just see how I liked it anyway so I'm gonna do like a high pony half up half down so I'm just gonna smooth it some hairspray plus it's like an instant facelift Now the secret to everything is this. Slowly tight because you don't want any of those lumps to come out. Um, and then I like to do some baby hairs. Before I like spray them down, I like to just kind of like play first to see where. And baby hairs always help me not look so all D in the front. I think I might, I have like a little one piece of an extension. I might wrap it around the ponytail. Get a little bit of the edge booster. So I have this little two clip extension that I'm gonna attempt to see if it looks good. Just because I want to wrap it and like this pony is so thin up here already because I just did a little bit of hair because I whenever I do like a straight half up half down I don't like to do too much hair um, so I'm just gonna clip this guy in and wrap it 
I'm gonna take this little piece. So I'm gonna go look for a shirt and I'll be right back. So this is the final result. I found this outfit from, I, don't, I think it's like last year, but it's amazing. I'll stand up in a minute to show you guys. It's a little early now, but we are doing dinner tonight. So this is 100% what I'm gonna wear. I'm so in love with it, it screams fall in my opinion. So I feel like the extension made it because now like you can't really see through my ponytail, which I like. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys more than anything in the world. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. And I have a bunch of Halloween videos coming for you guys next week. So stay tuned. I love you. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. You were standing there. You bravely lived.